Hey guys, this is Ryan, and I wanted to make a quick video for you, kind of going over the new keyword tool that uh, Tim Godfrey and Steve Clayton are giving out called Keyword Blaze with their eFormula promotion. If you haven't seen that yet, go to eFormulaProfits.com. Again, that's eFormulaProfits.com to find more about that launch and uh, Keyword Blaze. So basically, um, Keyword Blaze is a keyword tool, but it's kind of, if you think of it more of a workspace, kind of like projects that you're working on, it's got several different functions, as you can see on the left-hand side here. It's got Keyword Launchpad, Niche Storm, which is going to be used to kind of uh, find niches for your actual e-commerce websites. This is part of their um, training that they'll be doing with eFormula. Research Robot, which is basically doing your keyword research on autopilot. And if you're part of their uh, monthly continuity program called the Internet Marketing Advantage, like I am, you'll have access to that, as well as G Rank Tracker, which basically tracks your Google rankings and then social exposure. And uh, again, that'll be available with IMA members as well. Okay, so let's just do some quick keyword research and show you how this actually works. So what's cool about this is you can use this keyword launch pad to start looking for any types of keywords. So let's just use... Uh, the make money online market to do some research. So if we start typing in make money online, you can see it's actually pulling Google Suggest um, here for us, which is pretty nice. You could actually just do the search right here by hit start searching, or you can go down and add a couple extra keywords on here. So say we want to do make money on the internet as well. We're going to do just the United States so I can show you kind of how this works and then we'll just hit start searching and you can see it opens up the new tab here and it's gonna actually uh, take a little bit for this uh, to populate but it's pulling the data for us um, in real time which is nice another cool feature about this is we could actually use their multitasking feature which allows us to open up multiple uh, keyword searches like this at the exact same time. So it's one of the only tools that I know that you can be pulling data um, like this as well for several keywords at the exact same time which is really nice uh, makes it a little bit easier instead of having to wait every single time you can have it pre-populated for you. Another thing that's pretty cool here is with the um, actual setup that they have this they're pulling in the background um, another tab called their magic keyword tagging and what this actually is I'll pull this up I left some data in here uh, from some of just other searches that I was doing just for fun just to kind of give you an idea so this one I did was I think the main keyword was like ballet or something along those lines uh, but you can sort this data by monthly searches um, and then you can take a look um, Okay, so it looks like it actually pulled the Make Money Online stuff. So let's go back really quick. Okay, and then I'll come back to the other one. So in their first initial screen here, they're going to give you just kind of um, the basic information, the keyword, the monthly searches, AdWords cost per click, AdWords competition, and then you'll have the option to do some keyword difficulty. You can see they've got 35 different pages here, so you can scroll through the different pages like so and go back the other way. Um, what I like to do is just sort by monthly searches and you can actually look at so we'll do make money online um, and we can just click right here and it'll do a quick evaluation of that actual keyword and it tells us it's a 63 which means that it's fairly competitive um, which we all know that make money online is pretty darn competitive um, but what's cool is you can actually click on this right here and it's going to pull up the keyword in a separate tab for you. And it's going to give you a bunch of different data now. So the first thing that it's going to give you this main data that you've got across the top. Um, now we've got make money online, monthly searches, local AdWords competition, etc. You can notice that this is a little bit lower now because it's pulling all the countries before we were looking at it as um, just the United States. So you can see that these numbers are slightly different. Now these monthly search volume is done in exact match which I prefer because it gives you a better really understanding of 
the traffic that is actually there. Okay, so then it gives you down here, it's going to give you the rank um, in Google. So the spots one to ten. It'll give you the title of the actual site that is ranking there. And then it's going to give you the URL of the actual site that's ranking there. So you can see Forbes ranks number two. Um, Dot com secrets ranks number eight, which is uh, a big time affiliate marketer up in uh, Idaho. And then you got here, you've got page age, so it tells you, or excuse me, page authority, which it tells you how authoritative that individual page is that's ranking for this term, make money online, how authoritative the actual domain is, how old the domain is. So you can see here that the, the only domain that's the youngest domain is four years old, but the spots that are ranking in the top three are 10, 16, and 13 years old. So it's going to be pretty darn competitive to break into that top 10. The number of links that people have to the, that page, the total links, Moz rank, which is uh, similar to actual page rank, how many tweets the page has gotten. So you can see this page, I mean, has over 10,000 tweets. How many Facebook shares, you know. Uh, this 101 Ways to Make Money site has 845 Facebook shares. How many likes it has on Facebook. And then Google Pluses. You can also look at the data inside Open Site Explorer. And it will give you, if you have an Open Site Explorer, you can view all the data. But if you don't, you can get the preview so you can see some of their links and, and stuff along those lines. And then down here at the bottom, you have the trend line um, kind of from Google Insights for basically um, the last 12 months of the, of the actual search phrase history. Um, now just this in and of itself, I mean, is something that is incredibly valuable to, to really be able to take advantage of all this information with a keyword tool that's totally free. Um, this saves you a ton of time and, and really, the reason I like it is it really kind of stops me having to use several paid tools where I can get all this data in one spot um, and pretty darn quick. The other thing that I really like about it is while you're doing all of your searches within this project, it has the magic keyword tagging in the background. And every time, we'll tag this keyword real quick. Um, every time you're doing searches, you can basically come into the magic keyword tagging and you can have these filters and columns, which you can go ahead and customize. There's all different types of stuff you can add in here, like you know, is there video results, news results, image, etc. Um, it lets you know, you know, if that is in the top 10, etc. Um, and you can save all of that. It's pretty cool, really, really cool features, actually. Um, and then you can basically have it sort all of this for you. And what I mean by sort is it's going to do a few different things. It's going to look for winners. So we just did some random um, stuff here random keywords over several different niches so we've got like the belly dance stuff um, I did some stuff on Chuck Liddell who's was a big time UFC fighter and then we did make money online um, and you can see here it pulls some winners the ones that you've looked at some keyword difficulty that it feels are fairly um, easy for you to rank for they have a good number of searches which for for the filter that's set right now it's at least a hundred searches a day and that's exact match again so a lot more broad and phrase match searches. So these would be good keywords that you could actually go after to build sites around. Then it also has the long tail with high cost per click. So we can sort this by monthly searches. And I can also look at the keyword difficulty as well. If you click on this right here, it's going to sort it by the keyword difficulty. So we'll look, we'll keep with the monthly searches. Uh, but we can see that how to make money gets 246,000 246, searches. The keyword difficulty is 52, so it's not horrible. Um, but the average cost per click is $1.98. Um, and you can see all these different ones here. You know, Basically, this is a, a place where you could find incredible ideas to build AdSense sites, uh, different types of cost per click sites where you're dealing with maybe like Infolinks or Cantera, stuff like that. When they've got usually a high AdWords cost per click, um, you're going to be able to 
get a lot with those other contextual advertising sites. And it does this all in the background for you. You don't have to do anything for that. Then it has the shopping feature, which basically pulls keywords from the keyword searches that you've done that are related to shopping. Um, so e-commerce type stuff. So buy costumes obviously is, is uh, quite, you know, a lot to do with shopping, cheap scarves, cheap dancewear. Um, and then it's got the last tab is the ones that you've tagged. So if you want any specific ones, you can come here. You can evaluate these all. You can um, export them as a C CSV. This is kind of cool. If you wanted to evaluate, say, the top 10 keywords here, it'll evaluate the first 10 that we have here um, that we've sorted based on monthly search volume. And you'll see it's evaluating them up there. You can also open these into a new tab um, and you can actually see it's going to pull all the data for buy costumes but while it's actually doing this it's still evaluating those other keywords so we're not going to lose anything we can always come back to the shopping tab here and it's going to start to evaluate these as um, as it gets that data so that's really cool that you can be doing it both at the same time so it's a really cool tool I highly recommend you download it it's totally free right now um, Tim Godfrey and Steve Clayton are giving it away or um, it's probably something that they'll be charging for in the future it's definitely a tool that I would have paid you know at least a few hundred dollars for it's gonna save me about a hundred hundred and fifty dollars a month on some of the other tools that I use um, definitely recommend it so if you've got any questions um, please don't hesitate to comment below but you're more than welcome to just visit the link below this video and uh, you can get your own copy for free alright have a good day